It's peak hour in Manila, and office worker Edros Ramirez is trying to head home. Waiting for half an hour already, this is only one part of her journey. I ride bus, and then I ride MRT, and then I ride another bus, and then jeepney, going to my work. And then every day, vice versa, I'm doing that. Let's go. Each day, she spends around three hours on her commute to and from work, which is 20 kilometres from home. Like many Filipinos, she enjoyed some respite as COVID restrictions forced cars off the road. But now the traffic is roaring back. Very tiring, especially I'm working at night, so very tiring. Next stop, the bus station. Lines like this stretch on for ages. Some people have been waiting here for up to an hour. It's all just part of the daily commute here in Manila. It's a sign of a transport system that's bursting at the seams. With 13 million people, the Philippines' capital is one of the biggest cities in Southeast Asia. And according to a global survey by a navigation data company, TomTom, it had the worst congestion in the region last year. Now, regular road users like Thomas Ponishir Jr. are facing a new challenge. The gasoline is very high. Every week it's getting higher. He's now cancelling some courier jobs because of the cost of fuel and says the oil and economic crisis might end up clearing the roads again, at least temporarily. Long term, though, private car ownership keeps growing. A series of public transport projects by outgoing President Rodrigo Duterte have been plagued by delays. Experts say the new president, Ferdinand Marcos Jr., must accelerate the infrastructure drive. Transport is going to be critical in the resurgence of the economy. He has plans to build better transport links and even push for more bike lanes, but there's no quick fix in this bustling capital of delays and frustration. Bill Bertles, ABC News, Manila.